Hello everyone, this is the 9th video of Database Management System Subject Question and Answer Video Series. Here's the question. Question set 9. To facilitate the business of Max Mobile, the owner of the mobile phone company uses a computer software, which uses the following tables to store the data in that computer software. Answer the questions asked in this table. Here's the tables. Let's see the first record. They are telling create a database name M shop to save data in mobile phone shop. Okay. For this, I am using HDSQL software to fulfill the requirement. First, I am entering the <coughs> connection by adding the password. User name is already the event, then host name is here. Okay, let's make a database name mshop. Already in the last video I have made the database, therefore I am using this. Um, firstly, I am removing the past tables, custom and product. That means I am dropping them. <coughs> Okay, here's the database. Mm. Oh, so I all, uh, I'm dropping this database as well. That's why this is a new assignment. Mm. Okay, let's make the database here. Right click on here, go to create new, then the database name is mshop. Here you can see the database. Okay, uh, the first <coughs> requirement is done. Then the second one is same as the last video. Create a table as custom and product in the database. Follow the instructions here. Here are the uh, instructions. Let's make the two tables. <coughs> I'm going to M shop. Then right click. Go to create new and make the table. First table is customer. Then column name. Customer ID. It has ten variable characters as well. Mm. No default value. The default and the next uh, make sure to add the primary key for the first one, first column second column name is first it has 45 variable characters Next column name is last. It also has 45 variable characters. Next column name is gender. It has 10 variable characters. And last column name is contact. It also has 10 variable characters. Okay then click the save button to create the table that means the structure of the table consists of the columns ok let's view the table select all from name of the database mshop dot name of the table Customer name same column. Then execute the code. Here is the structure of the table. Let's go and make the next table name product. As well, right click here, create new table. Product. Add 
column product id it has 10 variable characters also it has no report value in the next column as I said it use if uh, it has the primary key make sure right next column name is brand it has um, 45 variable characters in the next column name is model number it also has 45 variable characters and last column name is price it should be put in the data type double ok you can see this main structure in and here you can add not equal value as well then it save to me create the table okay. ok the table was created successfully then we can use the table here by giving the name of the table product then actually it's called here is the main structure product id brand name model number and price then <laughs> we are telling the third requirement to add the data graphical to the tables we have created here is the data let's add them <coughs> Okay, then the first three requirements are done successfully. Then next go to the fourth requirement. They are telling find a mobile phone whose brand is Huawei, price less than 4000. Okay, let's call a query for this. call from n shop dot product where the brand that means uh, uh, between the various and marks you have at the name of the column and the column is Then 
the value that means in any brand is Huawei as well they are telling the price should be less than 40,000 ok then we have to add and to this query to show this one and we have to add the column and Can you create your SM mark? Nice. Less than now. Then you value. at the brand name here now let's see with the code ok there is only one mobile uh, which is less than 4000 you can see here um, let me take Huawei brand mobile ok this requirement also done successfully then let's call the next require this, that means the fifth one they are telling look for customers whose gender is female look for customers whose gender is female select all from m shot dot customer they are gender gender equals to female female then put semicolon and then execute the code here you can see all the details of was viewed ok then let's call the final requirement find the details of the product whose brand is in vivo ok select all the details from M shop that means the name of the database dot there brand name brand name is equal to vivo then add the same color Here. You can see all the product displayed here in the all details. 